Hi there, it's Tim from Oracle Base. .co.uk. I oh, know it's .com, right? But you live in the England, so what's the deal with that? Who the heck is that? Tim, you're doing videos now, mate. You're going to put us all out of a job. Anyway, good luck. Oh, I didn't recognise you the wrong way up. In this video, we're going to look at an enhancement in 12C that allows you to put PLSQL into a with clause in an SQL statement. Let's start by creating a test table with a million rows in it. This table just has a single column called ID and each of the million rows has a value of 1. This example is about as simple as it gets. We have a with clause with a function defined, the function accepts a parameter and just sends that parameter value straight back out again. This is then used in the select statement below. Notice in SQL Plus we need to terminate the statement using either slash or semicolon and slash. Using semicolon alone won't work. We can also define procedures in this declaration section. In this case we've defined an unused procedure. That's a bit silly because we can't call procedures from SQL. But we could define a procedure that's called from a function which in turn is part of the SQL statement. There's currently no support for this syntax in PLSQL. If you try to use it directly, you'll get an error. The workaround for this is to use dynamic SQL. You might be asking yourself the question, why would I bother doing this? The reason is it actually makes calling functions from SQL a lot faster. Here we create a regular function. We'll use this in some performance tests in a moment. In this test we're going to compare the performance of the function in a with clause with the performance of the function called directly from the SQL. In both cases we're using dynamic SQL so that the differences between the two tests are fair. We can see from the output, using the function in the with clause uses a lot less CPU and is significantly quicker. Now we'll recreate the function, but this time use pragma UDF or user defined function. This gives us the performance benefits of using the function in the with clause without having to actually place the function definition in the with clause. Repeating the previous test gives us a very different result now. The standalone function using the pragma now outperforms the function call in the with clause. The function can still be used for direct calls from PLSQL. Attempting to use the PLSQL declaration section in a DML statement results in an error. This is easily fixed using the with PLSQL hint. As pointed out by Jonathan Lewis, the deterministic functionality doesn't seem to work when using this syntax. This query takes 10 seconds to complete, when we might have expected it to take just a single second. Fortunately, scalar subquery caching still works as expected. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.